All right, so on Friday we discussed how to take your image and you're going to use a preset puzzle or a puzzle design as we called it and turn your image into these various puzzle pieces. So first you want to go to the stocker folder inside photo one. Inside the Photoshop folder there's a possible patterns file. It looks like this to start. It has all these layers here. You can hide the eyeball to see the various layers that's already are there. So say I'm going to choose this one. So then you want to go ahead and take this picture and move it onto the image you want to edit. Next, you want to crop this picture 13 inches by 19 inches. So go to your crop tool, go up to the top here, type in 13 by 19 inches, and then go ahead and I'll use 150 resolution, of course. Go ahead and crop your picture. So now my picture is cropped 13 by 19. I now need to resize. <coughs> this image. So I'm going to go to Edit Free Transform. I'm going to go ahead and rotate him sideways and stretch him out so that he fills my whole page. All right, next I need to decide which part of this template that I'm going to use for puzzle pieces and which part I want to leave the background. So anything that's black in my design, I'm going to make puzzle pieces. Everything that's white, I'm just going to leave this background layer. So for example, some of you might be backwards and you might have the black be the background and white be puzzle pieces. You determine which you want to be puzzle pieces and which color you want to be the background. But like I said, I'm going to do black are my puzzle pieces. So step one, you got to figure out which selection tool you want to use to select this black areas. So I'm going to go ahead and select this chunk with the polygonal tool. I'm going to go over here and select it all. So this whole triangle is selected. And now I want to hide my template. And then I'm going to go to my background layer, go to Edit Copy, Edit Paste, <clears throat> and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my photo, my background, and there's my puzzle piece that I just pasted. Sometimes you may need to move it into position, only usually in the corners, and that's it. So make them both visible again, and then I go on to the next chunk. So use my polygonal piece again, and I'm going to go through and select this area. On my background image, I select it, highlight it, go to Edit Copy, Edit Paste. So now I hide my top layer, which is the black and white layer, and I hide my bottom layer, and now there's my second puzzle piece. So I just keep repeating this process the entire time. So I make my black and white <clears throat> layer visible. I go ahead and select my next puzzle piece. And the key for most people, if you're having issues, you get the marching ants when the black and white is visible. Once you have the marching ants, you can hide the black and white. And then you want to make sure you copy from this bottom layer, this background layer. Sometimes if you copy from these other puzzle piece layers, you'll have problems. So make sure you go to the very bottom layer when you copy. So go to Edit Copy, Edit Paste. So there's my third puzzle piece, and I'll go ahead and do my last one real quick. So this one I go ahead and click, and then if I want to take away something, remember you hold Alt to take away the inside of a selection. <clears throat> so now I have my rectangle donut selected. Go to my background layer, edit copy, edit paste. If I hide my top layer and my bottom layer, there's all my puzzle pieces. Now they're going to be on top of this background. So the next step, which will start on Tuesday, is you're going to take each puzzle piece just like we were practicing. So I'm going to take this cornel puzzle piece <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and add an adjustment layer to it. So I'll do black and white to start. So I turn my whole picture black and white. I hold Alt, link the two together. So now my corner piece is black and white and then I go to my next puzzle piece. So that's this guy right here and then I find another adjustment layer. So we'll do all the adjustment layers on Tuesday. For just today, make sure you get all your puzzle pieces selected on the black and white layer. Make sure you copy them on the bottom layer. And then when you paste them, you'll have all of them here. Just go ahead and save that as a Photoshop file. Make sure you save it as a Photoshop file, not a JPEG. And that's all you have to do. If you're having any trouble, always ask your neighbor. They can sometimes point out really easily what's wrong. Usually nine times out of ten, it's this bottom layer is not highlighted when you're going to edit copy, edit paste.